Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to use SDK2 as well as Unity to upload your first VRChat avatar to VRChat and just the bare bones basics. Nothing too advanced in this video. I'm not going to show you how to make an actual 3D model with Blender because I don't know how to do that. So we're going to be taking a free model and just learning some very basics of Unity as well as installing Unity in SDK2. So for starters, you need to go to your browser, you need to download Unity version 2018.420. This is the current VRChat version that is used for SDK2 and SDK3 for that matter. And you're going to need this version of Unity. Don't try to download the latest version. You need this version. So once you download that, you will eventually get prompted to where you'll have this icon and this is the correct version of Unity. And you may have to go through Unity Hub and a few other things to make sure you get this version. But once you get it, it'll look like this. I'm not going to go through it in the video, but this is what it is. And so you will open Unity. And then you will see that there's a thing where it says projects and learn. Don't mess with the learn. You're just looking at projects. And currently I have three projects already. These are things that I've been working on. In this case, we're going to start a new one. So we're going to press new. And you can name your project. I'm going to name it YouTube example. And you can also select the location where you want it saved at. And we're going to create project. So it will give Unity a moment to assign everything. And the next step after doing this is we're going to import the SDK2 package. And what SDK2 is, is VR chat's little package that kind of sets up Unity for avatar creation. There's SDK3 also exists, but this video is for SDK2. So we'll give Unity a moment here. So we are now in a very blank version of Unity, very blank. So you'll notice quick things to notice about Unity. If you scroll within the scene with your mouse, you can go in and out. You can also right click to look around. You can do both at the same time. And there's a few tabs that I should note real quick. So the scene, what we're on right now, is the scene essentially. So all your items like your avatar and anything else. And the inspector is going to be properties of things that you click on. So if I click on this light, now the inspector is going to pop up all these different properties that we can change about the light, which we don't want to change because we don't need to change any of these things. There's also a camera. And here is the hierarchy. So what the hierarchy is, is all the objects that are within the scene will be shown on the hierarchy. We also use the hierarchy to click on things and change their properties with the inspector. And last but certainly not least, at the very bottom, you will have your folders, most notably the assets folder. This is where most of your crap is going to go, whether it's audio, pictures, etc. Um, it will be in this assets folder. You can divide it the way you like, but assets is just the main default one that is easy to access. So we need to import SDK2 before we can do absolutely anything. So to get SDK2, you will need to log in to your VRChat account. So you'll go to VRChat.com. If you don't already have an account, you'll have to make one, but you'll log in and here's my account it shows all my friends and all my crap and you will go to download. And then you'll see that there are downloads for all sorts of things. We want SDK2 though, VRChat SDK2. There's also a link for SDK3, but I'm not covering that in this video. So you'll download this. I already have it downloaded though. So I'm going to open my files and I'm going to grab it real quick. Unity, scroll down, VRChat SDK2 package. We're gonna click and drag this into our assets. And it's going to prompt you with this. Every time you import a package into Unity, it will look something like this with a bunch of little check boxes. That kind of tells you what you're importing. In this case, we want absolutely everything. So we're going to click all and then import. With the SDK2 package into Unity, we can successfully create avatars and do VR chat things. And it looks like it's almost there. You will need to import this with every new project that you make in Unity. But as I've said many times before, you're probably not going to be making 20 projects within the same day, so don't sweat it. Once you import it for the first time in your project, you don't have to import it again. All 
All right, looks like it's just about imported. So now we are ready to go to create stuff. But as you'll notice, we have absolutely nothing. That's really cool, I know. So I am broke and I don't know how to do things like Blender. So I'm not going to create a model for you. I'm not going to show you how to create a model. I'm not going to link you with a model. Actually, I guess I can't. I kind of am going to link you with a model, a free model though. So I'm going to go to a website called VRC Mods. Let's see here, VRC Mods. This website is great for getting free assets and free, free well, I say free avatars, free models, etc. So I'm going to just search for a very basic model so that I can show you an example. We're going to click on Rbot. Um, whenever you click on something in VRC mods, you'll get a short description. Sometimes it'll include different shaders that are compatible with it or different, whether it's compatible for SDK2 or SDK3. In this case, we want an SDK2 avatar, which I already know that this works for it. So despite it not listing that, we don't have to worry. I've also already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it. But this is just an example of something on VRC mods that you can grab real quick. So we're going to go to our folder and we're going to find our bot, which is the avatar I downloaded already. <laughs> Here it is. We're going to click it just like we did with the package and we're going to drag it into our assets. You'll notice that this only has like two items because it's very simple. So we'll just hit all import. And you'll notice we just got a new folder called our bot. We're going to open it and here's our model right here. So for this model, actually, you're going to need to go here if it hasn't already. Let's see. I need to make sure it's set to humanoid on the rig. Yes, right here. We're going to set it to humanoid which means that animations for VR chat will work. If we have it set to one of these, your avatar may break and you may be T-posing. A lot of models already have this selected, but unfortunately for this one, as I've experienced, it was not selected. So you did want to go ahead and click this and make sure it's set to humanoid. So we're going to hit apply once we set it to humanoid. As I said, you may not have to worry about this with most models, but this one in particular had that issue. So we set it to humano humanoid. So now we're going to go back to our assets. Well, actually, we're going to go back to this folder because this is where our model is. And we're going to drag this into our scene. We're going to click and drag this onto the scene. So now we you'll notice on the hierarchy, we have a new item. We have our bot, which is the avatar we just added or the model we just added. So you'll notice that it's absolutely freaking huge, which is not something we want. So we're going to, first of all, change the position to zero, 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 which makes it centered. The transform kind of tells you the scale, rotation, and position of the object that you've selected. So we need to make this smaller because it's absolutely enormous. So I'm going to go to the top left corner and click the scale tool, click on the avatar. Well, there we go. We're going to make this a little bit smaller because it's enormous. There we go. The reason I can tell it's enormous is because the light and the camera are not supposed they're not normally that small. Okay. I'm going to actually change the position again because when I changed the size, it messed with that. Okay. There we go. So I may make it even smaller. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay. Nothing wrong with being too small. Okay. So now that we have our avatar scaled to size, there's a few more things we need to do. So first of all, we can't upload this for two reasons, because there's no animations attached to it. And there's also no avatar descriptor, which is the biggest deal. So we need to go right here to add component and make sure your avatar is selected. And then we'll hit add, add component. And you're going to type in VRC, excuse me, and we need the VRC avatar descriptor. You're going to need this for any avatar that you upload to VR chat. You'll also notice that it adds a pipeline manager script, which we'll need that as well. So you'll see that there's a little gray ball right here. And you may be wondering what that is. That is your view position, which needs to be right in the center of your eyes. So there is a property right here with the VRC avatar descriptor called view position. And we need to change those values to where it goes right in between the eyes. So we're going to change this to go quite a bit lower. In this case, one, maybe a little more, 1.2, 1.1. You'll also notice it's kind of far away from the head, as you can see. So we're going to move it a little bit on the, possibly the Z scale. Let me see. I'm not the best mathematician, but we'll try this. Okay. 
maybe point zero nine zero point zero nine. There we go. Make it go a little bit lower too. Zero. Let's do. We'll do one point. One point three. Right. One point. One point zero eight. Yeah, right about there. You can play play around with these values and get it right where you want it. But so we set the view position, which looks pretty good. It looks just about on center. So we're all done with that. But now we need to make sure the avatar has animations as well. Because if you upload it, you may have a T-posing avatar, as you can see. Which, I mean, T-posing is cool and all, but you may not want that forever. So what we're going to do, and this is actually a step that will be used to create animations later on as well. But I guess you can learn it now. So... We need to go to a folder called VR Chat Examples, and we're going to go to Examples 2, Animation, SDK 2, and you will find a controller called Custom Override Empty. So we need a copy of this. So what we're going to do is, is click on it, we're going to press Control D, which duplicates it, so now we have two of them, and one of the duplicate is going to have a 1 next to it, and we're going to rename this, and I'm going to call it My Overrides. And... Now that I have this, I'm going to click and drag it into my assets folder. The reason I'm doing this is so that it's very easy to access. It's right here with all my other things. So we're going to click on our bot, which is our avatar in the hierarchy, and it'll prompt all this up again. And you'll notice that there's a animator controller as well as some custom standing animations and custom sitting animations. We need to drag this override controller into all three of those. So we're going to click and drag this into controller, click and drag this into these two as well, custom standing and custom sitting. So now my overrides, my overrides, my overrides, looks good. And also if your avatar is not a robot and an actual anime character or someone, you may want to hit lip sync, which is going to be to make your mouth move for your avatar. This avatar doesn't have a mouth though, so you don't have to worry about it, but for lip sync, you would probably just click auto detect and it will kind of program that for you. So now that is just about all you need to do. We have our animations, we have it rigged to humanoid, and we have our avatar descriptor. Looks good. So now to upload it, we're just going to go to the very top left. And you'll see a little tab called VR Chat SDK. I'm going to click this, show control panel. I'm going to click this, you may have to sign in. And then you're going to go to Builder. And here is the little prompt you'll get right before you publish your avatar. As you can see, Build and Publish down here. We're about to click that. But this, all these little um, things will tell you about your performance of your avatar and different things you can fix to help optimize it, as well as any errors that you're going to have. Now, this button may not work depending on if you have some critical errors. If you have red errors here, then there's a good chance that you won't be able to publish it. This button will be grayed out and you won't be able to publish. So make sure you solve any errors that you have in there. In this case, we have no errors. So we're going to build and publish. And give it a moment. And now it's going to put us in play mode and it's going to uh, give us a very awkward photo of our avatar because the camera is in a very weird spot. That's a topic for another video. But we can name our avatar. I'm going to name it YouTube. YouTube sex. That looks good. Okay. Yes. And now you can set your avatar to private or public depending on if you want people to be able to clone it or not. So. I suggest if you want absolutely no one to ever clone it, setting it to private, you can change this later by the way, mind you, but if you set it to private, then no one can rip your avatar and no one can clone it except for you. If you set it to public, you can still disable people from cloning it, however, if someone has a client, they can often rip your avatar. So it still is a little more risky with the public if you want absolutely no one to steal your avatar. So you're now going to hit this box to agree to the terms and conditions, and you will hit upload. And we'll give it a moment here. 
Once we're uploaded, we'll launch VR Chat and test the avatar. While that's running, I'm going to look at my files for a sec. Looks good. Okay. Depending on how large your avatar is, that will depend on how long this takes. In my case, very small avatar or small files should not take very long. We will get a thing that tells us when it's complete. There it says, update complete, launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. Okay. So now we're going to minimize this. We're going to launch VR chat real quick. I'm going to go to avatar and you'll notice I have some other examples that I rigged wrong. So ignore those. We're going to click the one called YouTube sex, which is the one we just made. You're going to change into that avatar and you'll notice we are good to go right here. You'll have some default animations that come with the normal VR chat SDK, but you can, um, edit these animations and I'll show in later videos. You can also add shaders to your avatar. There's a million things you can do with um sdk2 and unity it's a lot of fun so that's the very bare, bare bones basics on how to get started with unity and how to upload something so it, as you can see anything you make will pop up in this menu um i've obviously made a few other avatars in my time as you can see <laughs> but um hopefully this helped you if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and i will see you next time